morning, everybody. 3.30 in the morning. Tuesday. May 1st, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Well, got a call at 3 o'clock. Got a load. Picking up 100 mesh out of uh, Garland City, Arkansas. Uh, right around 100 miles away from here, so it me just under two hours to get there. Picking up 100 mesh and uh, taking it to Carthage, Texas, to the well I where I was at yesterday. Um, yesterday I asked the guy at the pad, at the station pad, how much, how many stages we had left for this well. They said they were at 17 out of 77. I guess they're in the 20s now. So we'll probably have work for about another a week, maybe, somewhere around there. We had gotten an email from our dispatch saying that the well that's in Huntington, we, we're pretty much, it's only going to be our company that's hauling sand for them, for that well. As for the well in Carthage, where I'm going to today, we're still sharing that with uh, Tim Abel's. And those are the only two wells that are running right now, so they're keeping us pretty busy this week. Um, just hope everything works out today, and I'll be able to get two loads, hopefully. Now that I've got a fresh 14, I'm not having to do an 8-2 split, which happened yesterday, which which I had to sit there for two hours before I could finish delivering that load that I had yesterday. So, let's see how it goes, let's keep rolling. Fifteen in the morning. We made it to location at the shipper. Now I'll go ahead and uh, open up our hatches. The road to the shipper, man, I tell you, is rough. This road right here is okay. It's all gravel, but the public road is in really bad shape. You really have to focus and try to stay on the road. And if there ain't nobody coming in on the oncoming lane, you got to use that side of the road as well. So you're like swerving left and right, trying to avoid all these holes and dips. It's really bad. I wish they'd fix it, but I don't think the town's got the funds to do it. But, uh... We got one truck ahead of us, but I think it's it's just shut down for the night. And here's the shipper. Now, right, let's see, where am I? All right, right here, there's two silos. Right here is a smaller uh, loading scale. So, yesterday, I loaded here. So we'll find out where we're loading today depending where they have the sand at. So most likely it'll be the same small uh, small scale. Beautiful night, it's, uh, the sky's pretty much clear. Nice, fresh, feels good outside. It's nice and chilly. It feels like maybe 
let's see, 69 degrees or so. But the moon is out full moon. So, all right, I'm gonna go open up my hatches and then we'll go ahead and uh, check in with the scale house through the CB radio on channel 10 and see if he's ready for us so we can get loaded and get out of here. Uh, trailer. Eighteen forty five oil field services. Ten four. Have you already got your hatch open? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right, when you come on um, above that levee and you get to that stop sign, drive straight on across, pull straight on to the small scale. Keep easing forward for me. Right there. I tell you, go forward just a hair. Right there. Back up a hair for me. Right there. Lock your brake. How much are you picking up? We just got loaded with 45,000 pounds of sand. We're going to go get our ticket now. She directed us to pull off the scale and then walk up and uh, get our ticket.
It's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. Tuesday, May 1st. Made it to the uh, staging pad. Now we're just waiting for the uh, sand coordinator to uh, come up to us at the staging pad. We're the only truck there. Got some drop trailers. I think, uh, I don't know if it's Tim Abel's or something like that. That's doing like, I guess, a drop and hook over here. But, uh, just going to show you all around. The well's that way. And station pad, and then that direction where I came from, that take you back to the main road. But, uh, man, this last hour was brutal. I started getting sleepy and tired, but all right, guys, sign coordinator's coming. I'll talk to you later.